Hi, welcome how to uh, charge your new 208 using uh, the Instavolt charger. Uh, this, they have two different varieties. Uh, this is the slightly newer variety. Um, however, the general operation point is the same. So I've only turned up here with uh, having used just 14% of my battery, so it's not going to charge at a very fast rate. However, uh, it will certainly do just for the example here. Okay, so I'll apologise for any of the road traffic noise before uh, it may drown out, but hopefully the pictures will suffice. All right, so obviously having pulled up near the charger unit, which is this newer one here, you know it's a newer one because at the top you've got the big green light and uh, the cables are actually on a pivot point to help try and get them into the car more easily in a more convenient location. So first of all, to open up the flap, just push on the end there and it will flip open slightly and then just pull it open. So inside we have the normal AC port and then we pull the cover off and it has a little hanging point. You can see the little bit there and you can put it on there. So this is the main part that we use for the CCS, the combined charging system, and it's the direct current version. So. Instavolt are all contactless. You can use Apple Pay, you can use credit card, you can, uh, I believe, even use an app. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that one. Um, you can see the contact point here for the contactless card. So first of all, you place the card near there. Hopefully you can hear it beep. And then it says, plug in. So we select the CCS connector, which in this case is this one here, pulling it out, stretching it over. I'm doing this left-handed, which isn't actually very easy. Push it in and you'll start to see the green light start to flash, saying it's looking to commence charging. It's waiting for the EV to talk to it. It's just locked into place. You can see the red locking light for the charge port. And if I then come back to the unit, it's now showing charging. You can see the, you can see the battery percentage actually on the screen there at uh, 86%. At the moment, it's not cost me anything. The power, that is the actual amount of power that the unit is delivering to the battery. And even though this car is capable of charging at 100 kilowatts, it only does that lower down. Um, between sort of 2% and 22% and then it sort of slowly tapers off uh, to protect the battery. Um, hence at sort of 86, 87%, it really is only charging at a, a fairly slow rate for direct charge. This is where realistically, if you were on a long journey, would you really wait any longer? Probably not, um, because the time it's gonna to take to fill up the rest of the uh, battery is gonna be you know, slower, unless you desperately need that full 100% to get to the next uh, charging station. Now you can see up at the top here, it says in use as well. All right, so, so we're just busy charging there for the moment. Instavolt usually put them in pairs, which is very good. So if one actually isn't working, chances are the other one will. And, uh, they're usually in fairly convenient locations, not always with sort of toilets accessible, etc., uh, or food. This particular location is quite good. There is uh, a Starbucks nearby and a McDonald's takeaway as well. Um, and they also have a notice board up there as well, which actually shows you or tells you how to actually initiate the charge and uh, any contact numbers if the chargers aren't working and you wish to uh, either ask for assistance, if they can remotely start them, they will. Um, otherwise, uh, you can give them a call and let them know they're not working. So hopefully for the next person that wants to use them, they will. So as you can see, I'll just come back to the screen here. So it is charging still, it's gone up to 88%. We've got two miles added. Um, and you can see it's cost 21 pence so far. So, unless I'm going to wait for a while, that really um, is all we need to do. Uh, what I can show you is if I go back to inside the car, and I'll just walk the long way around, just so I don't have to step over the cable. 
if you open the door, it will show you on the screen the charging rate and your percentage as well. If I just shut the door, we'll wait a short while for that to go off. Eventually it will. So you can see the car also tells you how long that the charge has got left to run, which is 40 minutes. So for that sort of extra 13%, is it really worth hanging around for that 40 minutes length of time? There we go, so the display's gone off. So if it's raining or you really don't want to, <coughs> don't want to open the door, the other way of getting the display up is to actually flick the hazard light, uh, the uh, headlamp flash switch towards you and you can see that it's come up again. So with that we will look at stopping the charge. There's two ways you can actually do this. You can, you can either press the stop button or usually flash your card against it. Uh, actually on the sign, it actually says, press the stop button on this one. On some of the other ones, you can swipe the card as well, but because that's what it tells me to do here, that's what we'll do. So sometimes you have to make sure you get your finger in the correct place. Stop charging, yes or no here that it's stopped. When I come back to the car, you can see it's gone to white, and then the red light has gone off to say it's unlocked. I can pull it out. And put it back into the connector. And then it gives you, you can either take a photo of that, um, or just close it down. So that is charging on an Instavolt charger. Don't forget to put the little cover back onto the car. Closing it down and push to shut. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching.